Hi guys, well here's a Speed Fight 2. This was the one I've done a video of taking out the very small washer to gain the extra miles an hour, cleaned up the um, rollers and away it went again. And happy days for 20 miles. Um, and a little chain of events happened. Basically, it all started from the clutch. Now you can see, I'll go there, can you see a little bit of wear in there? Rough, okay, should have rubbed that down really. But what it caused was the belt to snap. When the belt snapped, I'm good at diagrams today, this is a crank, okay? And this here is what turns a starter motor. But if you can see on this one, it spins round, okay? Which is supposed to be like this one here, nice and tight. What happened is it wore, wore the teeth away, which meant now that spins around and you can't tighten it up again. So, you could put some tape around it, you can go around the other side and really, really tie it on. But realistically, it still could, and I say could, come loose. So realistically, the only thing to do now is fit a whole crank, which is mental. But that's what I'm going to have to do. So this one's a really good crank. It's big ends and everything else. So the job today, which will be tomorrow now because it's late, will be to dismantle all this down here. Take off the exhaust, take off all the cover. Uh, another video I've done it before where you crack half the engine. So it's piston off, exhaust off, piston off, both sides off, under the bolts, slide the crank out on one side, and then put the new crank in, and then tighten it back up again. Job done. And all because of something insignificant like that, you know? If I'd have rubbed it down, if I'd have noticed it, I didn't notice it to be honest with you, if I'd have rubbed it down, then the belt wouldn't have ground and it wouldn't have wore the belt off and when I tied it back up it wouldn't have come loose because once there's no belt behind it and someone keeps on turning it over it's spinning round and all it takes a little bit a tiny little bit of movement and it ground the teeth off and that was it job done and that's what that basically when I get this one off is going to be like no teeth on it which should have teeth on it you know should be like that you know proper teeth on it so you can see the difference there when I hold them up to you. To you. So bugger. Um, big job on a bike that I like. It's a shame because the guy the guy actually really, really liked it. But, uh, you know, I couldn't give it back to him that way. I can, you know, go around the other side, as I said, and tighten them both up. But it's not me. I'm going to do a proper job of it and um, go from there. So part two, carry on tomorrow. Catch you in a bit, guys. So, oh, what's involved, I hear you ask? Huh? Huh? Okay, maybe not. What's involved? Okay. Seat out. Airbox out. Side off. Fan off. Exhaust off. Okay, one, two, three. What are you left with now? See the carburetor? Clutch. I already changed that today. Nicer one. Anyway, get all this off, and there you go, look. It's just wore away. Um, how annoying, because there's nothing else wrong with it. Anyway, that side needs to be like that, and that is all you need to do this side, okay? You can now move the bike over and get some more room. And there's this side now, okay? This is just that a coil plate top of it, and actually it couldn't do bad. That's been on the original. Bit of dirt in there as well. So actually, getting this off and giving it a really good clean is actually going to be really, really beneficial, I think, personally. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, do the bike much better stead. But there you go. Now, I could... Get a bolt on this side, a nut, a spanner, should I say, socket set even, I'll get it right in a minute, and hold that side, and I could put on this side and clamp it really, really hard down. Might have a go um, and see whether it would tighten up or not. Obviously, guys, you know you need this. Uh, this is for your uh, static coil. Wind it back. Like that. And you screw that in there like that. And then obviously it's the only way of getting this bugger off, okay? Only way. Um, and go from there. Otherwise, my next step now is get this off. Take the static coil out and everything else. Undo, take this one off as well. Undo all the bolts. Do the stand here. Half up on its side. Wiggle it out and get this half an engine off. So, if I'm honest with you, yeah, it's probably going to be my next job. Um, but there you go. That's what's so far involved. And I'll carry on. Okay guys, when getting this off, remember what I always do, cut the screwdrivers 
tapped in the central places then get the socket in and a hammer push one hand here and tap as quickly and as hard as you can once that nut comes off then you use the little tool that like i said earlier this to get it off um, and go from there guys if you ever wonder why your lights sometimes flicker on and off well not on and off so much just like pulse well this is the answer really can you see in there it's it's supposed to be really quite clean in there and if you look here a bit dirty and there a bit dirty as well so it don't hurt taking this off i know it's a bit of a job but once they're off give them a really good clean wipe out inside that's all supposed to be clean um bit of emery maybe very gently on the magnets and that will stop the pulsing anyway job goes on okay guys this may be a short video i'm running out of memory and i've got nothing more to delete so i'm gonna have to upload what i've got so far but anyway can you see there all right that there we go that is pretty dirty okay and that is what causes pulsing and you can see that bit there that's rusty as well okay where if we get the one i've just cleaned da da can you see the magnets now where are we yeah okay so bright now there you go can you see the magnets now and nice and shiny on that little pickup so that's your magnets that's a lot lot better than what it was isn't it so i'm quite happy with that so that can go back on now and i'm running out of memory so anyway so far so good uh, i can't even turn it around when i'm doing this can i no i can't okay so far so good that's off next i'm going to start doing is undoing all the stuff in there all the old bolts let's get the stator coil off and get all them off in there um, and then i'll split the engine down and i'll put the new crank in um, slide that across that shouldn't cause too many problems at all still worried it keeps saying i'm out of memory um, and then put it all back on again and hopefully then that won't spin round and it will start and job's done um the boy still should tax them ot don't think this one is so i'm going to take it for a really long ride probably over a couple of days keep starting stopping starting stopping and see how that goes and it shouldn't wear over again and it should be job done so there you go um it, yeah it's still dark so you can tell i i couldn't stop myself i just sit down job as well um i couldn't stop myself so i've been getting on with it so um happy days all right check out my videos guys i've got to delete loads of my phones before i can do any more anyway but i'm still using a camera or something rather than my iphone but um take care catch you later guys bye so far that's uh six miles so far and um yeah it's all good uh 35 on the flat 45 downhill starts and stops fine so far let's keep going right let me see the mileage now so what's that uh just a little over 15 miles on the bike um and that's on the bottom um i think you mentioned about the back wheel so i noticed it actually when i was coming to the garage so i take the back wheel off and just there is the mechanism and it's a little bit stuck so i'm going to grease and spray all that up not the pads obviously so that's my last job um yeah job done mate uh 15 miles she started she stopped um happily does 30 to 40 mile an hour on flats and 45 downhill um, I was happy she reached above 30 going up hills and we've got some steep hills here so uh, yeah it's job done I've just took the cover off I've just literally put that back on and there's no movement it's a brand new belt so uh, job done mate